the real. Hello and welcome to the new video. All right, in today's video, we are going to change thermal paste on this Asus 1060 3 gigs of VRAM graphics card. But before we do anything, we are going to test it with a Geeks 3D Formark test 1.3 version and to see uh, if there is any change after changing thermal paste. 9020 by 1080 anti-aliasing off and let's go with the GPU stress test. Of course, the detected GPU is NVIDIA and the GPU current temperature is 48 degrees. Uh, of course, in here we need to, to take for serious the weather condition right now because it is currently like 30 plus degrees in here. The case is open and the graphics card is on the second slot on the motherboard X16. So yeah, let's let's test this GPU. Okay, of course, caution. Formark is very GPU intensive application. You may experience some instability or system shutdown. Let's go. Okay, so after one minute, we can see that fans are at 42%. Uh, current temperature is 72 degrees. And let's leave it like for two or three minutes more to check if uh, the temperature will be stable. And after that, we are going to change thermal paste. Okay, so after five minutes, we see stable temperature. It is like uh, 80 degrees. Uh, that gives me the hope that we don't need to change thermal paste at all. But uh, we are certainly going to do it because uh, maybe your temperatures are not like this. So we are going to stop the test to pull out the graphics card and to change thermal paste. Okay, so first let's pull down the cable. Now we need cross screwdriver. Okay, now you press this on the PCI slot and pull out the graphics card. And of course, don't be like me, unplug all the cables from the graphics card. So here it is, pretty hot. Uh, it needs some cleaning with the isopropyl alcohol and a little bit cleaning from the outside okay as you can see the fans are clean and uh, they are not loud all right let's open it okay what do you need for this operation you need screwdriver with a cross head you need toothbrush a lot of uh, people criticize me for using toothbrush but it is still the best way to clean PCB or board for the graphics and any kind of electronic. You need thermal paste. I'm using MX4 from Arctic. You need this. I forgot how it is called on English. You need isopropyl alcohol and you need a little bit of uh, cotton or wool, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so turn the card. All right, so first we are going to uh, unscrew these one, two, three, four, five, six screws because they are holding this plastic <clears throat> on the graphics card with the fans on it. So let's start with this one. Okay, now don't pull it like a maniac because you have fans connected to the board. So just go easy and as you can see there is the cable for fans. Just unplug it easily. 
All right, so we have removed plastic with a pants. Now we are going to remove heat sink. So you want to unscrew these four screws, go gentle and go with a cross pattern. So this one, then this one. And after that, this one completely. This one completely. After that, this one completely. And hold the heat sink because this last screw is going to drop all the heat sink. So we have unscrewed that and you can see you have removed the heat sink from the board. Now, as I can see, and you also, this thermal paste is pretty dry. So first let's clean the board and uh, after that we are going to apply thermal paste. Uh, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six modules, uh, five, <clears throat> 512 megabytes each. And uh, as you can see, uh, the memory modules doesn't have thermal pads on it connected to the heatsink. <clears throat> Spray it a little bit with the isopropyl for a bit. Of course, take care. As you can see, there are okay. So it is for that part. Now I'm going to use a toothbrush. Spray a little bit with the isopropyl and proceed with the cleaning. Okay, now let's clean PCB or the board. Okay, and as you can see, uh, uh, very nice. All right, so we have cleaned PCB. A little bit more on this side, just. Okay, so we have cleaned PCB or the board for the graphics card. Now let's clean heatsink. There is a nervous doggo outside. He can keep his mouth shut while I'm recording. And he's been quiet all the time up until I started recording but you know what it is not like I have 1 million subs so I need to think about that stuff even then I'm going I think I'm, I'm not going to give too much of my time trying to to ignore all the sounds that are coming from the background so it is pretty much clean you can see that there is no dust between these uh, radiators or whatever you want to call it we are going to just use a little bit of toothbrush in here just to remove the dirt that is stuck Of course, you can use air compressor for that, but I don't have it, so it is the good stuff, you can see. All right, now let's assemble it. So, thermal paste. And don't put too much. I think this is okay for the GPU. Okay, so very carefully hold the heatsink and turn it around and put at least two screws like holding it like this. 
so it doesn't move. Now, second one, of course, crossed pattern, so don't squid in all the way, just for a bit, and now you can place it on the table to screw other two screws. Okay, and now you can go full in with this one, after that this one, after that this one, and the last one. Be sure that you have screwed them properly, just check one more time. You don't want loosen screws because it affects on the GPU temperature. So it is good. Now let's clean this mask. Uh, there is no need for a lot of cleaning, but let's just put isopropyl and clean it to white color. Okay, now the front part. You want it to look shiny as it was like it is new but we need more isopropyl and as you can see it looks really nice now white so let's put it on first we are going to plug in this connector for the fans Plug it in, place the card and place it on the screw holders. And screw it in. Okay, so we have changed thermal paste. Now let's put it in the PC and to check out the temperature. Okay, let's turn it on. Okay, let's check the firmware. Now it is 38 degrees, but we have just started PC. We are going to check it like the last time at one minute and at the five minutes. Okay, so after one minute we are at 65, 66 degrees Celsius. And the fans are at 38% with a GPU power 96.7 TDP. So, uh, when we first tested, uh, I think at the fifth minute it was like 80 degrees or so. Okay, so after five minutes we are at 77 degrees, it was 76 and it is very stable. So after changing thermal paste, 
Uh, I've got like four or five degrees down in the temperature just because of the thermal paste. So you know what to do. Change the paste on your GPU if you have the exact same one and you don't know how to change it. So yeah. This is it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, share this video with your friends, help the people who need help with their GPUs and uh, IT and tutorials and everything. Uh, this was your Chicha and we are going to see in the next video. Until the next time, peace.